the increment decrement object provides a convenient way for users to bump parameters up and down by a fixed amount without having to actually enter the numbers themselves. This example is set to change the data by tens. When I click the up arrow, it increments this tag by tens. Remember, this is just updating a tag which is probably located on a PLC system. It's then up to the PLC to respond to that tag and do something about it. This is great when you have an application that requires discrete stepped changes in parameters. Maybe you want to increase the quantity of a product in increments of tens, for example. Let's look at how to set this up. Double click or drag the increment decrement object onto the screen. Or if you see one you like down here in the parts list, you can drag that directly onto the screen too. All of the formatting options are covered in the How to Use Common Object Features video, so we'll just cover the unique features here. For this object, you can use two function keys. One to increment and one to decrement. Let's assign a tag for this button to modify. We'll use this increment decrement tag and say OK. Adjust the size, move it to where we want it, simulate it, save the project, and up pops our simulator with our new increment decrement object. Now if we press the up arrow, it increments by one, decrement, decrements by one, F1 increments by one, and F2 decrements by one. One final feature to look at is the type. This only applies when you select object style one. We were using object style two which has two arrows, one for up and one for down. Object style one is a single button. So you have to pick the type right here. Is it an increment button or is it a decrement button? Let's make it an increment button. And of course we can assign the value we want to increment by. So now this button will function as an increment only button and we'll do it in increments of 20. We can try that real quick. So each time we press this button, this tag will be incremented by 20. And since F1 was still defined, that will also increment by 20. F2 has no effect because this is strictly an increment button. Well, that's it for this video. Be sure to check out all the other videos in this series. And as always, please send us any topics you would like to see covered, or any other comments for that matter. We appreciate the feedback.